Hey everyone, in this video review, I am going to look into another value solid state drive, the A Data Ultimate SU800. It is the first SSD series from A Data to feature 3D TLC NAND flash memory, which is mostly present in Samsung mainstream SSD models. This 3D NAND technology has few potential advantages over the regular NAND chips. It helps to achieve higher storage density, performance, better TBW rating that is total bytes written and that will result in longer lasting drive than the regular ones. With this video I am going to do a quick unboxing showing you what you get in the box and test this SU800 in various synthetic benchmark softwares, compare the results against other SSD models which I had tested earlier and also find out how it performs in real time usage and finally give you a conclusion. For that I bought this cheaper 128GB variant. Most entry level SSD models starts from 120GB but this SU800 provides an additional 8GB storage in that aspect which I will consider it as a reward for choosing this model. I suggest you to get at least 240GB that will have more TBW rating and better write speeds and you won't run out of space very soon under regular usage. The drive is enclosed in this attractive shiny box and well protected inside a plastic case. I like this hummingbird logo changing its color seeing at different angles. Can you see that? Inside we get 2.5 mm spacer for increasing the thickness of the SSD to fit tight in some laptops. A manual sheet. You also get free migration software for cloning your existing hard disk to this SSD. For that, you need to create a free account with Adata and register your new drive. But I recommend doing a clean install for real performance. The top lid is made of plastic and firmly integrated to the bottom metal enclosure. I don't sense any panel gap anywhere in the body but it looks cheap in hand. SU800 is available in 4 capacities right from 128GB to 1TB and you can choose any variant that fits your budget. It employs Micron 3D TLC NAND chips for storage and Silicon Motion 2258 controller to deliver sequential read speeds up to 560MB per second and 520MB per second for write speed. These stated speeds will vary with the SSD capacity. In this detailed datasheet, the actual read rate speeds are declared with respect to each drive capacity. Read speeds are identical to all variants, only the write speed is different in 128GB variant, which is lesser at 300MB per second. Adata advertised huge data rates possible on this model compared to other brands, but it fails to reveal the exact TBW number for any of the capacities. It is backed with 3 year limited warranty. Download this useful SSD toolbox program for monitoring the drive wealth, total number of bytes filled and other important functions. Benchmarks was done on a fresh install of Windows 10 with some basic applications installed. I personally ran all the tests at least 3 times each to make sure results are much consistent before showing to you. I begin with Anto Benchmark which most manufacturers use it for declaring their drive speeds after testing their models. This software uses compressed data for testing. I left everything at default settings. Here the Adata SU800 maxed out at 564MB per second for read and 315MB per second for write, slightly exceeding the advertised rating for 128GB capacity. So I believe the climbed sequential speeds will remain true for other variants too.
Read speeds are much consistent in both AS SST and HT Tune file benchmarks, but I noticed so many performance dips in write operations. As you saw in the graph, it touched as low at 200 megabytes. The same thing happened in the Crystal Disk benchmark when larger size data is involved. Well, the system booted in less than 14 seconds and you are going to enjoy this speed when you are coming from RPM drive. Adata has implemented faster SLC cache buffer in this model for improving the write times. But unfortunately, it didn't reveal the exact size of SLC caching. Now I am going to discover how this SSD performs without SLC caching. For this, I am transferring this huge 21GB files to the disk continuously and I am sure this size will surpass the buffer capacity while writing. This 21GB data is well enough to overflow the SLC cache and I can see a great impact and great performance once it crosses the SLC buffer size. So if you plan doing any large file transfer or AB media editing tasks on daily basis, this is not the drive for you. Well, the Adata SU800 gave consistent read speeds throughout my benchmarks. Though the write performance was good in handling with small to medium size files, it actually suffers when large size data is involved. And Adata has used the ultimate tag in the model name, which is very hard to accept for this kind of performance. And you may get better results in higher capacities, but I am not going to recommend this model for hardcore users. And there are better models available in the same price range. If you are kind of a regular user upgrading from the old RPM drive or going to use it for regular day-to-day -day tasks like web browsing, emails, word processing, this model will not disappoint you on that aspect. Thanks for watching this video and hit the thumbs up button below if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe which is going to energize me to create more videos.